let's talk about some of the challenges facing the international trade regime at the current time. With China's growing middle class, pollution has also grown and the Chinese government has taken some actions along these lines. China is closing the worst polluting factories, adopting stringent environmental laws and planning for a cap and trade system. Even though China releases the most greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions, they still give off less per person than the United States does. While there's a substantial amount of international trade, completely free trade seldom exists. When company decides to do business outside of its own country, it will encounter a number of barriers to international trade. They can make a variety of forms, including differences in economic, ethical, legal, political, social, cultural, and technological barriers. As an example, which we'll talk about later, some countries have very different copyright and patent laws and the protection of intellectual property, which can lead to some problems, which we'll talk about later. Another challenge is economic differences. When considering doing business in another country, managers consider a number of economic factors, such as economic development, infrastructure, and exchange rates. U.S. businesses must recognize that they cannot take for granted that other countries offer the same things found in industrialized nations or economically advanced countries like the U.S., Japan, Great Britain, and Canada. Many countries in Africa, Asia, and South America, for example, are generally poorer and less economically advanced than those in North America and Europe. They're often called less developed countries or LDCs. LDCs are characterized by low per capita income, which means that consumers are less likely to purchase non-essential products. LDCs represent a potentially huge and profitable market because they may be purchasing technology to improve their infrastructure. As these LDCs develop, their population may desire more consumer products and even more high-cost high, uh, high infrastructure or consumer products or luxury items. The level of economic development is part of the country's infrastructure. Infrastructure is the, are the physical facilities supporting a country's economic activities, such as railroads, highways, ports, airfields, utilities, power plants, schools, hospitals, communication systems, commercial distribution systems, when doing business in LDCs, for example, a business may need to compensate for rudimentary distribution and communication systems or even lack of technology. Often they have to build or bring their own infrastructure whenever they operate in LDC environments. Next, we'll talk about the current global trade regime that is in operation and how we'll follow on after that with some of the challenges associated with the international trade regime in the next lecture.